Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. So, I am currently working on my February 2023's Paper Pumpkin Alternative. This is video number four. And yes, I understand that video number one was never loaded up to YouTube. Somehow I deleted it and I'm not going back, but I am keeping them in this order um, because it's easier for me. So I apologize if it is confusing for you all. Um, I understand where it would be, but for my purposes, I did do video number one. It just didn't make it there so, and I can't retrieve it. I've tried, it's gone. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you the, the, um, my cards. Um, this was video number one, and if you've seen my video number two and three, you'll know that I made four cards from this one card base. My first card, video number one that nobody got to see, was using this frame piece. I cut it in half, trimmed it down to four um, by five and a quarter, and I used some design Dandy Designs DSP. I used this from the um, Scallop Contour dies and this is the second smallest one so that was card number one let me show you the inside there we go i'm using the envelopes as envelopes this was card number two all of these cards um, are pretty much like sketch cards all these pieces put on there so i'm used combination this is the card base piece here this is Dandy Designs. This is the Scout Contour Dies. All of these first four cards use this element here as a focal point. And that's because they were uh, left over from my videos that will be coming out in March, my Easter cards. So this is so sweet, this little frog. I have a thing about frogs, y'all. So this one. Um, and this card came to be because I scored the card stock in the wrong spot. So I went with it and it's super, super darn cute. And I absolutely love it. And of course I was having a fun playing with the thanks a bunch carrot stamp set from celebration along with my papers. So let's see, what else can I show you? We're going to move the whiteboard. Um, this was the project sheet, instruction sheet, if you will, for this month's kit. And y'all know I'm not going to do any of them. I do my own thing and I enjoy doing that. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching me. Um, March's Paper Pumpkin will be 10 years that we'll be celebrating Paper Pumpkin. It is a botanical themed kit. That's as much as I know. Plus you get a free gift. So this is a great buy. This is this month's kit and it coordinates with the um, playing in the rain suite. It had an add-on which were these wee little two little dies that go with the frog and the little flowers. Really sweet. I will be using them just not for this video. Um, let me show you the probably going to show you these things one more time and then I won't be showing them again on my other videos as you can go back see them in other people's friends in any kind of weather is the stamp we're going to be using today this one says you brighten my day the frog sending you sunshine and smiles hello which is so sweet and it's so tiny I love it the three little flowers that go with the dye a kite and the sunshine one which is not on here it's on a block I just haven't put it back so that's all of the blah, blah, blahs. Let's get on with the card making. So I'm going to, let's see, flip all my stuff over. So our card base is Old Olive. This is the other half of video number three's card. It got scored. Actually, no, it's not. That was four and a quarter by 11. It was supposed to be, and I scored it wrong. This is landscape. This must have been an extra card base I had laying around. Card base, it is not four and a quarter by 11, y'all. <laughs> It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one quarter. I didn't, I just assumed. Should never assume, right? So that is our card base. Our layering piece number one is Calypso Coral, two and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm telling you, how I designed these cards is because I had these bits and pieces of cardstock lying around that were in the same color 
as our kit. So I went ahead and I got this DSP piece from Dandy Designs. Some more of my scraps, two and a quarter by four. Next, we have a two and three quarter inch. This is cardstock layer number two, Mango Melody, two and three quarter inch. This is square. We have from our card base from the kit, it's two and a half, and I always am doing this. It is not dandy designs. Ugh. So just trying to get these up there. This is the card base from the kit. Two and a half by two and a half. And then I have my, yes, my last of my green scallop contour dies, Old Olive, which you all know by now are from my Easter box cards that I was making. You'll see those videos coming up in March. And then I have a piece of basic white that is one and a half by two and seven eighths to snuggle up right in there. And I'll show you, these are the two pieces we're using from the kit along with our sentiment strip. And then, so let me put those aside and I'll show you how they're all going to work together here. For the inside, our inside layer is three and three quarters by five with a half an inch strip of Dandy Designs DSP. It is a half an inch by three and three quarters. Let's get this glued down. So there we have it. Yikes. Let me get all of these and we're going to start gluing cardstock to cardstock. So the basic white is going on the inside with its little wee strip of dandy designs. It has a nice border around it, being that three and three quarters by five size. So next we have, we're going to do our Calypso Coral piece and our Dandy Designs again. And these are reminiscent of card sketch designs, though I didn't use any buddy else's. This is just me trying to put things where I want them. So there we have that working outside of my normal uh, card making skills here, stepping it up, if you will, or stepping out of my box and trying new things. And I'm finding that I really do enjoy this. So here is my two and three quarter inch square piece of cardstock and that one is going to come right there. Next we are going to bring in a sponge dauber. So let me move that out of the way. So I'm going to bring in some balmy blue and I'm going to make us a bit of a sky here. Don't really need that, just need this piece of, okay, so nails do get in the way. Loading up my sponge dauber with ink and I draw on my paper. So I'm going to start off, you could use a blending brush, use whatever you like. I am just going to layer up, making a bit of a sky for our now adding just a little bit more pressure on there as I'm rubbing in the ink you can add ink on you cannot take it off so I'm going to start off over here Want a little bit more definition in the color and I'm thinking that's really good I do like that. So that's all that takes. I'm going to close up my ink pad. Give me a second here. Very tight. And I just inked up my thumb. Of course I inked up my thumb. I mean, it's me we're talking to. Right? Okay. So we're going to add 
I want to add just a little bit, and this is that Thanks a Bunch free celebration item. So I cannot resist playing with it. It's so much fun. It is so much fun to not use it for what it was designed for, the carrots. Okay, I, I just got to sell you guys. Oh, no, we're going to use the wee little one. So we're going to use this wee little carrot. And we're going to use that wee little grass. And it's supposed to be for the carrots, but we're going to use it as grass. It is so much fun. If you don't want to try this, you need to try this. So we're going to go right there. Oh, I love it. Oh, this one is even better. I'm going to go like right here. And then I'm going to stamp off. Just come in. Oh, I love it. Just adding a little. Okay, so you know what? Mm, let's see my little guy here. Because he's going to be on here. So do I want to add some like trees? Yeah, we're going to add one on and off. And then I'm going to stamp off and add a taller one right there. Then I'm going to come in and add a little one right there. And it's so cute. But I'm going to add this one. Oh, yeah. We're going to add this like so. Add a little bit more. We're going to add some more up here just because we can. It's so cute. Oh, love it. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy, 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 happy. Let's do our envelope. Why not? Let's have some fun with the envelope. So we are going to come in with that large carrot one. And we are going to go here. There. And right there. Now I'm going to stamp off and a little higher, add some dimension to this mimicking of grass. This is such a great stamp for making grass. <laughs> it is so fun. I cannot tell you how much I have had just a kick with this. Just have. So I'm going to make my little carrot trees. My little topiaries, um, probably one there, and oh, we need some little branches. So since I got ink there, we're going to there. Oh, so cute. We're going to go all the way across. Why not have fun with it, right? These could be wild flowers. Just too much of a kick. Like I said, I'm just going to do it all the way across. Yes. Okay. I'm having fun. Yes, I am. Okay, our envelope's done. I'm happy. Oh, let's get on with our sentiment strip. Don't need that. Like I said, we're using the one friends in any kind of weather. And I'm trying to think, you know what? We're going to do balmy blue, the one I just closed up. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that just because we can. And I haven't used it yet, so give me a second. I'm going to do a little twist off. Let me check it. Yep, I like it. And I'm going to go right there. Oh, yes. I'm happy I chose the balmy blue. Now, can I close it up without getting ink on me? Probably not, y'all. Just probably not. So, I still need my glue. We need to move this. And where's our little piece that we stamped on? Oh, I see it. 
and he's so cute this little rabbit with his big ears so this now is gonna go right here and we're gonna glue it down as we are gonna put our rabbit in our cloud on dimensionals so and that is going right there so let's add some glue really really cute So like I said, dimensionals on these guys. Two for Mr. Bunny Rabbit. And one for our cloud. I might get another cloud out and do two, but I wasn't sure yet. Let me see. There came with several clouds. So I think we could do... Ooh. I do kind of like that but then I would need another element as here is my rabbit I need one more little element so what do we have we have a wee little flower we could put over there and I think that's what we're gonna do let me get some minis let me check my box first before I go opening a new package. Uh, nope, I need to open some. Minis are not available. I need to order some regular ones. Let's see. I actually save these and reuse these for things. Great packaging. Boy. Hmm. Do I just, yeah, we're going to cut up the side. It's hard for me to decide. It's got this thick border around the edge. So I don't need it to be that thick. So let's cut this off and use these. I put a dimensional on that one. I need, let's get this one down first. This is going to tell us where everything is going to go. So that one and this one can go at the bottom maybe if it's willing to cooperate with us in my frozen little fingers and the nails that <laughs> I love them. I think they're gorgeous. Are they going to work for me? I doubt it. They just don't. Uh, we'll see how long they last. <laughs> Sometimes I just pry them off. So I'm going to have my bunny kind of right there. We're going to add some strip. I can't even pick this up, but of course my hands are frozen too. And I don't even know why I bothered turning the heater on out here. Hadn't been on for two days as I was out running errands with my daughter. Thursdays are our days to go do things. And we still went out and ran errands again today. So I like, I like my little flowers right here. And then we're going to add a couple of strips to our sentiment. And this sweet little card is all going to be done that quick. And I, I think it's quick. I hope you guys agree. Um, but it is sure is cute and we're going to add some Wink of Stella um, and I think we might actually it came with I'll show you the embellishments for this kit were these uh, pink dots I'm not sure what they were supposed to have. we're going to center that right here oh, really cute I think we're going to add besides Wink of Stella because we need the rain clouds very reminiscent of Western Washington, where it rains and it snows in almost March. We're going to add some to the trees, add a little bit to the flowers, just like so. And let me show you. 
glue dots. I hadn't even opened this yet. But we have these little raindrops. I think they would be very cute to add a few. He does, did, there was an umbrella. I didn't want to use it on this. I have an idea in my head to use the little umbrellas together. So we're going to add a little raindrop, I think, right here. Oh, cute. Let's see if I can pick them up having difficulties already. Mm. I like the idea of one over here. And it's not going to straighten out, but that's okay. Let's see. And I like the idea of one tucked up under this cloud. Boy, let me take a look. One, two, this one needs to move if I can get it to move. Let's see. It's stuck to my shirt, y'all. <laughs> it popped right off and went to my shirt. I want to move that one here. Two, three, I want two more on here. Oh, definitely down here, like it's splashing on the ground. And then do I want one? One, two, three, maybe right here, right. Ah, oh, the cute. Okay. So this is so cute. Love it. I'm trying to get all my little backings off. So that is our little card. And it's little <laughs> carrot treed envelope. Really, really sweet. I do like those little raindrops. Oh, so sweet. And like I said, they are blank on the inside. So I'm going to give you a peek now at all four of my cards using the one card base. So here's a part of my card base. Here's another piece of my card base. This is video number th four, three, two is the what's up duck and this is the piece of the card base oh so cute and video number one so one two three and four oh so so cute i love them oh just love these so i hope you enjoy watching me um create these wonderful little pieces of art as they are so fun and y'all Paper Pumpkin is the best value on the market. You just don't know how much of, if you have not tried Paper Pumpkin, give it a try just one time, just one time. And you don't have to get every month's kit. You can be choosy. And I will tell you, there are some kits that I don't enjoy as much as others, but in general, I am 95% satisfied with the, you know, what, 25 bucks I spend a month on a kit that comes in the mail and you never know what truly is in it and it's like a box of chocolates, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe, help me grow my channel and please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.